It's me, Kayvon, the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world. You know, I was this close to going into the military, but I became a stand-up comedian and a journalist instead. With that said, it's almost time to vote, and I want to pick the candidate who is the most supportive of the military. Who will it be, Trump or Biden? Lace up those boots and buckle up, troops. It's time to figure it out. Now, the media tells us that Donald Trump is by far the most disrespectful to the troops. Their biggest example is when Trump mocked McCain for getting captured in Vietnam. Roll the clip. War hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? I hate to tell you. Trump definitely loses a point for that. But what most people don't know is Donald Trump is a huge fan of black entertainers. You and the Donald yes. are very right. close. I don't know if people remember, but I, I won Celebrity Apprentice. Yes, you did. I, I was the first black person to win. He loves black stand-up comedians, and one of his favorites is Chris Rock. Let's see one of Chris Rock's jokes. Google McCain, Chris Rock joke. McCain just got that old story. This motherfucker been telling the same story for 40 fucking years. He a war hero. He a war hero. He a war hero that got captured. <laughs> There's a lot of guys in jail that got captured. And that exact joke in its exact wording was done by Chris Rock in a special about McCain when McCain and Obama were at battle. Democrats loved the joke. They were sharing it online when this joke was repeated around water coolers across the nation. That's a good one. High fives ensued. <laughs> but when Donald Trump repeated the joke, Democrats pretended it was the first time they'd ever heard the joke. They've never heard something so offensive in their life. They were petrified. But just for fun, why don't we watch what it looks like when Donald Trump says Chris Rock's joke with Chris Rock's crowd laughing. This is gonna be good. Years He's a war hero because he was captured. <laughs> I like people that weren't captured. Okay, okay I hate to tell you. <laughs> Do you He's agree with hero. that? He's a war hero because he was captured. <laughs> and I believe perhaps he's a war hero, but, but right now he said some very bad things about a lot of people. My question is, why did Democrats and the media laugh so hard at that joke when Obama was running against McCain, but now they pretend they never laughed at that joke? Because of that hypocrisy, now they lose a point. Mm. Negative one to negative one. It's now a tie. Now, if we're being honest, President Trump should not have repeated the joke. Mm. But if we're gonna be honest, he wasn't president at the time either. The next biggest complaint comes to us from The Atlantic, where they have anonymous sources who say that while Trump was in France, he refused to go to the World War I cemetery to honor the fallen soldiers, instead calling them losers. Now, since so many people fell for the Chris Rock hoax, you can almost picture Trump actually saying that now. Okay, I don't wanna visit these soldiers. Why would I? They're a bunch of losers. If true, Trump loses a point. Mm. John Bolton, who hates Donald Trump, had this to say. According to what that article said, uh, the president made the uh, disparaging remarks about our soldiers, the people buried at the On Marne Cemetery, uh, in connection with the decision for him not to go to the ceremony that was planned that afternoon. That was simply false. I don't know who told the author that, but that was false. And I recounted that in, uh, in my book, The Room Where It Happened. Uh, and the main issue was whether or not weather conditions permitted the president to go out to the On Marne Cemetery. Uh, we had this discussion. It was mostly John Kelly presenting the logistical uh, reasons why the trip couldn't take place, uh, and the president assented to the recommendation that he not go. He didn't protest uh, that he really needed to go. He just sort of took the facts as, there, as they were. It's a very straight weather call. Oh, Trump just got his point back. The story is a hoax, and uh, it's a disgrace. Now, enough about Trump. What does Joe Biden think about our troops? Understanding what you may hear about me, I have incredibly good judgment. One, I married Jill, and two, I appointed Johnson to the Academy. I just want you to know that. Just clap for that, you stupid bastard. And I can assure you that was not a Chris Rock joke. Who would say a thing like that? Biden thought up that one all by himself. Only an animal would say a thing like that. Now, if you want to talk about who disrespects McCain, Bob Dole, and other brave soldiers who were injured while fighting for our nation, then look no further than the left. A Republican congressman-elect and retired Navy SEAL. You may be surprised to hear he's a congressional candidate from Texas and not a hitman in a porno movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I know he lost his eye in, in war or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Right. They make millions of dollars a year making fun of veterans. Take a look for yourself. Now you also get Bob Dole's strong arm. The Bob Dole strong arm. All the uses of a regular arm and more. Kane was mocked for his disabilities. I, as a comedian, 
talked about McCain baby on. I was wrong for that. But you still satisfy your wife, right? I wish that I could. Ooh, you've got double trouble down there. And now for a little walk down memory lane. Hillary Clinton, under Joe Biden and Barack Obama, received calls to help save an embassy which was under attack. They refused to do it, and because of that, our U.S. ambassador and soldiers died. Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, and Barack Obama released the lie that the reason the attack happened was because a protest got a little out of hand. We've heard that before. And they said it was because of a really rude YouTube video that angered people that were Muslim. Investigators later found out that Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, and Barack Obama were lying. This was not a YouTube video. This was not a peaceful protest. This was a planned, radical Islamic attack, and they refused to name it. When asked about it, here's what Hillary Clinton had to say. But what was going on and why they were doing what they were doing No, 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 no. Is I, still, I, 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 is still I, again, un again, we no. were misled that there were supposedly protests and then something sprang out of that and assault sprang out of that. And that was easily but ascertained I, that that was not the fact. But, but, and the American know, people could have known that within days and, and they, they didn't know that. With all due respect, the fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? So that was Biden and Obama during their administration. What has Trump been doing during his? I am thrilled to host the Wounded Warrior Project. Tonight, Congresswoman Ilhan Omar under fire again after telling the Council on American-Islamic Relations, known as CARE, that the worst terror attack on American soil was, quote, some people did something. Why should the voters believe that you can win the national election? You're a lying dog-faced pony soldier. Democrat Joe Biden under scrutiny tonight for a story he often tells on the campaign trail about pinning a medal on a serviceman in Afghanistan. But there are questions tonight about how much of that story Biden got right. Clap for that, you stupid bastard. Video that directly contradicted Hillary Clinton's account of the danger she faced on a 1996 visit to Bosnia. Care was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. For saluting Marines with a cup of coffee in hand, an act that has quickly become known as the Latte Salute. You've got to come and watch this. This was actually a light moment. We just wanted to play it for you. Provide a little, a little relief as we are covering all this serious news. You see a, a Marine alongside Marine One lost his cap. The president goes to help put it back in. It falls off again as he pats him on the side. He goes and he grabs it again. It's so windy, obviously, from the helicopter. He's trying to right the ship here. For years, Joe Biden has been recounting a story of American heroism and heartbreak on the front lines, recently telling a crowd in New Hampshire how he traveled to Afghanistan to pin a silver star on a young Navy captain. And the general wanted me to pin the silver star on It's God's truth. My word is a Biden. He stood his attention. I went to pin But the Washington Post dug into the story and determined Biden got the time period, the location, the heroic act, the type of medal, the military branch, and the rank of the recipient wrong, as well as his own role in the ceremony. Now now, growing backlash in the New York Post and this from Republican congressman and Afghanistan veteran Dan It is Crenshaw. not some people who did something. It's, it's terrorists who killed almost 3,000 Americans, and we should talk about it that way. I made, uh, you know, I uh, made a, a mistake in, in describing it. She claimed she misspoke last week and was sleep deprived when she described landing under sniper fire in Tuzla, Bosnia. The truth can be slippery. I want to apologize. I said I was traveling in an aircraft that was hit by RPG fire. I was instead in a following aircraft. Uh, two of our four helicopters were hit by ground fire, including the one I was in, no uh, kidding. RPG and, and AK-47. I made a mistake in recalling the events. I'm thrilled to kick off the Wounded Warrior Project Soldier Ride. We salute you, we thank you, and we will forever be grateful for the sacrifices you made for all of us. You are the backbone of our liberty. You are the protectors of our community. And you are the proud, beating heart of our magnificent nation. 
there is no more important job than supporting the warriors who have fought and bled to keep us free. As you set out on your soldier ride, all of America will be cheering you on and watching. And all of America will be celebrating your strength and your tenacity and your unwavering love of your country. May God bless you. May God bless our wounded warriors. May God bless our military. And may God bless America. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there you have it. If you love the United States military, if you care about our troops, then it is clear the best president for the job would be Donald Trump. He's won our vote. But if that John McCain, Chris Rock joke was too much for you, and I totally understand, then as you can see, Biden has also been very inconsiderate to the troops. Therefore, it's best you don't vote for either of them. They have both offended the troops and, let's be honest, Biden did it much worse. So to protect you from accidentally voting for someone that offended the troops, you should stay home on November 3rd. Don't mail in your ballot. Don't go out and vote. You need to protest peacefully at home, alone. It appears the rest of us probably gonna vote for Trump. I hope you liked my clip. Feel free to argue about it in the comments. Call each other racist down below. We love that. And share, share, share. Now, share. I normally do stand-up comedy. I thought the media would have already informed you about this, but sadly, they didn't do their job. So here I am. I have 400 more comedy clips on my amazing youtube.com slash Comedy or Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or come to a live show when we start touring again. Good luck out there, and I'll see you next time. Bye. We were a depleted armed forces. We were depleted. I'm a big budget person, but there's one thing more important than the budget. Maybe a couple of things, but there's one thing in particular, and that's our military and our defense of our nation. Because without the defense of our nation, our budget doesn't matter. Just clap for that, you stupid bastard. Mm.